Hello, this is James at Conveyor Sections. Welcome to today's video. This is a KCT ball table. So it's a 1500 wide ball table, 75 mil roller centers, and these are a 22 mil ball unit, which is a push fit. So I thought it'd be quite interesting just to show how the boxes work on the ball table. So unlike a conventional gravity roller track, which is just straight in line, back and forwards, this is a multi-directional table. So we can use this as an intersection between two different gravity roller conveyors. There's a range of different reasons why you might need to put a ball table into a system. So I've got some different size boxes just to show how this works. First, we've got a small, medium and a, a larger box. So as you can see, even on a small box, I mean, this isn't conventionally uh, the right size for a 75 mil pitch ball table. We'd normally recommend something 225 mil, but because of the, the, the shape of the ball units being at a square pattern, by the time that this box is actually now diagonally, we've got a lot more coverage of those ball units on the underside. If the, if the customer's actually got boxes which are typically going to be sort of a 150 square or smaller, what we can actually do is instead of making the pattern square, we could actually put like more of a diamond pattern in there and we can interlock the ball units uh, together in, into the table just to make that really nice and close for quite small packages which works really well. As you can see, you've still got some pretty good movement on that box. So, a more standard box would be maybe a 200 by 350, which would be something like this. As you can see, that moves quite nicely on the rollers. And again, we've got plenty of coverage once we move this box diagonally. So, you can spin that straight there around. Over there. And then the larger box, 600 by 400. So it's pretty common size, and it's also quite a common size for a tote, a 600 by 400 tote, which can also work with a ball unit. So see, I mean, if this was quite a heavy box or you had an item you're working on, it could be used as a, as a workstation as well for turning and rotating parts for different um, operations and installation of components. Um, but as you can see, this box, I mean, it's quite nice with the rollers, very free spinning. I mean, it, it weighs about six kilos, this box, which is, which is relatively light, but even still made, made lighter by the ball units themselves. So the, the ball tables that we fabricate, I've got the heavier duty frames, a table like this, 250, 300 kilos, absolutely no problem. So we, we tend to upgrade the frames just to help with the load that's going to be carried on the top of the table. In addition to that, we actually brace the undersides quite heavily, as you can see. So these are all welded bars which run the full underside of the table. And this is set into a two and a half mil side frame folded. We can also do it in a four mil frame and we can also increase the uh, the plate thickness of the actual ball table itself from two and a half mil up to three, four mil, or whatever's needed. Typically, we'd, we'd be uprating the ball units as well to a fixed ball unit if we're going to be uprating the plate that it sits on. But for these kind of applications, lightweight boxes, uh, like I say, anything 250, 300 kilos, the two and a half mil or a three mil plate is sufficient. So there you go. Hope you like the video and the quick walk around and the experiment with the boxes. Any questions, please pop them in the comments or send us an email to sales at conveyorsections.com. Thank you very much.